All right, in uh, this video, we're going to be taking apart or inspecting the planetary gearbox in a Husqvarna 450X auto mower. Uh, first thing is to pull up the cover. This just pops up like this. What I've found is uh, on this mower I've got about, I believe, 1,600 hours. Uh, I've got Bermuda grass, so I mow very, very often. Um, I'm going to put some a rag underneath here to try to avoid scratching the front end. Since I am on concrete, I've done this in the past on grass. Uh, but on this other wheel motor, I'm limping along, waiting for a replacement. Uh, and what I did is I found that the planetary, though the motor's still working fine, the planetary, the grease lubricant in the planetary gear uh, completely dried up. And uh, when I say completely dried up, it, it dried to a hard, hard, hard shellac of sorts. Uh, and it just wore out the little pinions that the gears spin on. So now this, this motor is actually skipping every once in a while. But I am limping along. Hopefully they'll get me a motor. These motors were supposedly on back order. They, I, I had a call, you know, half a dozen times to get a hold of a supervisor that found a motor for me. They'll get me one here in about four days. But in the meantime, I want to inspect this left side to make sure that it's not about to go bad. 15 16 wrench to get the nut off. Now the one luxury about the gear motor is you can actually get to it without having to uh, split the case. To change the motor you need to split the case because you have to be able to get to the control board to unplug the wire. But the, uh, the planetary gear box can actually be removed from the motor by just sliding it out just a little bit. So now, here's a T20, I believe it was a T20, yeah, T20. I'm going to use a power screwdriver to remove these screws, but I do not recommend using one to put them back in again since this is all plastic. Here's the motor, okay, only has to slide out a little bit. From here, you'll see these tiny little Phillips head screws. These little Phillips head screws are actually, from this part out is planetary gear, it's actually a gearbox. From this part in is the electric motor. So now I'll use a screwdriver, a very small head screwdriver, to remove these four screws. Speed this process up a little bit. Oh, got to be careful with those. I just barely got it out. I really should have been pushing harder. Just to make sure the screwdriver engaged well. Okay, got the four screws out. Now I'm just going to simply pull this apart. Okay, you can actually see, yes, it is also in bad, pretty bad shape. All the, the grease, what's supposed to be grease, very, very dry. And this gearbox is very hard to turn. So what I'm going to do, I probably won't videotape the rest of this, but I will videotape taking this apart. Pull this out. There's actually a little disc on here as well. And if you remove this disc, you can see 
it's not with my slippery grease it's a hardened it's a hardened crud on there so this uh, this gearbox is is on its last legs uh, I may have caught it in time but uh, where, where my other one went bad was inside here on the secondary seat. Uh, it's going to be hard to show the inside, but the, uh, these, these are plastic gears on a metal pin. They spin on a metal pin. The inner ones, there's another set like this, and the inner ones are metal gears on a metal pin, and the metal pins were completely wiped out. Uh, so the gears are flopping around on there, so they have a hard time engaging with the gears on the outer part of the planetary. Now to get those apart, not really something that's serviceable. Um, um, from my experience, you can't just get the gears, which is unfortunate because you can, I can imagine these would be pretty inexpensive when the motor's still perfectly good. So um, I will more than likely call Husqvarna because this is still under warranty and this uh, this is this is not good. Um, all right. Uh, putting everything back again um, is you know in reverse just remember this little plate once I clean it all off uh, I'll use either a, a brake cleaner or carburetor cleaner to clean it all off this goes back on top of here and the next part there's another little disc and the other little gears in there just take it all apart clean it out real good I would suggest probably after you know this has got 1600 hours so let's say cut that in half you know seven or eight hundred hours uh, go ahead and pull these apart and uh, clean them out and lube them up and put it back together and uh, you, you probably get uh, an indefinite amount of time out of these I just wish I had caught it sooner so now this will go back together like this basically just reverse order put everything back together uh, screw everything back in again I wouldn't suggest a power screwdriver I would suggest uh, putting it back reassembling by hand and you should be uh, off and good again if you keep these lubed I believe that's a brushless motor. These things should last for years and years and years. This is for sure the weak part of uh, a lot of these Husqvarna, of, well, the Husqvarna motors. Lawnbot has the same type of arrangement. Uh, they use this little planetary arrangement. I had one of those for years and I had the same problems. All right.